तो आई फ्रेंड्स हियर आई विल शो यू द लाइव डेमो हाउ यू कैन रजिस्टर फॉर सी एस ए पी काउंसलिंग प्रोसेस डेट इज अमृता काउंसलिंग प्रोसेस सी एस ए पी रजिस्ट्रेशन एप्लीकेशन फॉर स्कॉलरशिप एंड नॉन स्कॉलरशिप वट इज द डिफरेंस एंड हाउ यू शुड अवॉइड द नॉन स्कॉलरशिप ऑप्शन टू गेट द स्कॉलरशिप कैटेगरी सीट एट लेस फी सो एवरी थिंग आई एम गोइंग टू प्रोवाइड यू सो हियर यू नीड टू राइट सी एस ए पी ए ट्रिपल ई देन यू विल एबल टू गेट सी एस ए पी लॉग इन पली पोर्टल टू रजिस्टर हियर वन सू क्लिक यू नीड टू प्रोवाइड योर ई मेल और मोबाइल नंबर सो आई विल प्रोवाइड फॉर वन स्टूडेंट एंड टेल यू द नेक्स्ट स्टेप पर्सनल इन्फॉर्मेशन अपलिकेशन एंड पेमेंट एवरी थिंग आई विल डू स्टेप बाई स्टेप ओके वंस यू प्रोवाइड द ओ टी पी डेट यू डेट यू विल गेट ऑन योर रजिस्टर्ड मोबाइल नंबर वट एवर यू हैव डन द रजिस्ट्रेशन डेट इज मीन्स the number that you have provided while registering for a triple e exam so they will ask you here the option is to proceed to seat allotment as scholarship and non scholarship same option is there for a scholarship and non scholarship so you have to be very careful to avoid the option of non scholarship because they want to sell the seat at higher rate that means through non scholarship seat so as you can check this a student a score and everything is here for you also you can check so you need to click here proceed to seat allotment so here is the detail a triple e phase 1 a score phase 2 a score rank so you need to just cut it and here the uh, information they have provided for follow following steps academic detail plus 2 and uploading the certificate uh, and navigate to academic tab to complete the process upload j a score if it is available then preference submission will be enabled once your 12th marks are entered means all the information is there so application here all the details are there you can check and uh, application here you can check j non scholarship not applicable see try to listen it very very carefully this is very very important information once you have applied by mistake or anything Uh, through a non scholarship also and you want the scholarship seat only because you want to pay less fee so don't accept the non scholarship seat then you will be eligible for counseling process otherwise not so here is the upload j application and a triple e a score phase 1 phase 2 both they have provided already so j e score they are asking so here you need to go to j e site to download or if you have already downloaded you can upload here so academic detail also they are asking here means class 10 12th enter the percentage 10th a school a school name place of a study and board of a study you need to submit this and uh, thereafter you need to go with the 12th once you save they will ask you for class 12 detail so once you fill the 10th detail they will ask you for 12th and obviously uh, they will ask you first 10 then 12 so it is not like you will skip 10th mark so automatically if you are getting the option like applied for non scholarship so once you provide your 10 12 detail automatically it is applied it is not your fault so uh, don't so don't be in a tension or uh, don't worry about this that you have applied for non scholarship how you will get the scholarship seat once they will provide the allocation through non scholarship you don't need to accept uh, uh, you don't need to accept that that's the best solution to avoid the non scholarship seat hope you get my point and if you want my guidance one to one to do this type of thing if you are unable i will do on behalf of you if you want you can contact me there is a very very nominal charge for that in the description you will get the detail regarding that also on the screen you can check the detail so if you want you can contact me as i am doing this for for this student i will do for you also if you are facing problem i will guide you regarding that by sharing the screen so uh, so that you will feel it correctly and more importantly choice of filling that is preference how you need to fill after trial allotment how to change the choices after the first uh, round of allotment if you will not get seat how to change the choices after first round what type of decision making you should do accept an upgrade or uh, accept an upgrade there is four five thing that is uh, better better slab or better branch or better slab better branch both or only better slab you want in same branch so there are multiple type of decision making you should make up to the admission process so for everything i will be there once you register with my guidance so that i will help you completely in the description all the information are available on the screen also you are getting my number but only if you want to pay my guidance fee then only try to contact me so here we need to fill the class 12 detail and thereafter we will move for the choice preference so let me fill this and then once you provide all the detail uh, you have to upload the 12th mark sheet that is uh, 
intermediate mark sheet as I have uploaded for this student and then you need to click apply. So here they will ask you uh, to provide the subject wise marks and that is math, physics, chemistry and then you need to save it. So once I will provide I will show you what to do next. So class 12 marks is uploaded and certificate also out of 100 or 200 whatever your board is providing accordingly you need to fill the marks. So here you can say for this uh, you can check for this straight I have done and non scholarship it is saying no means we haven't applied so if you do mistake you can apply here is the option non scholarship once you click there they will ask you to accept once you apply then you will be eligible for non scholarship and you will face problem later because they will provide you the seat through non scholarship and you will miss the chance to join a scholarship seat if you have applied mistakenly there is a solution for that once you register with my guidance I will provide you that the uh, that uh, that solution so that you can avoid the non scholarship that is avoid high paying fee and you will able to get the seat through low, uh, low uh, fee payment that is uh, slab one two three so here is CSAP instruction here you can check all the instruction they have provided uh, handbook also you can download registration process higher secondary marks and uh, entering J main submitting academic detail and here you need to click accept so after that you need to preference enabled means now you need to fill the choice preference this is very very important process and after that you need to do the choice uh, after you need after that you need to uh, make the payment so here for uh, this uh, student I will fill according to their interest for you there is different thing it, it is not like everyone will fill the same choice try to listen my word uh, maybe after watching this video you will feel like this it is not like that because this student have very high rank that is 17,000 your rank may be 10,000 or 5,000 or 2,000 1,000 so accordingly there should be a different choice so here you need to select preference one what you want to give select the campus suppose Coimbatore or Amravati or Amritapuri wherever you want you can select that is uh, for example Coimbatore and you have all the option which branch you want to select computer science and engineering computer science engineering computer communication computer science engineering there is option so you can fill like this you can change the uh, order of the choice also later if you want and so after filling all that there is total 50 choice if you want you can save only 10 choice 5 choice minimum one choice should be there so this is how you need to do the choice filling and registration step by step everything i have discussed if you want you can take my guidance so that I will guide you how to fill all those options. Reference to also if you want from other campus like Bangalore, you can fill and then you will have all the option of Bangalore like CSE and other thing. CSE if you want you can fill like this. So order is very very important and order is also important because you don't know which slab you will get. Because I know uh, as I am doing it from last 6 7 years. So if you want only up to slab 2 or slab 3 what you should fill otherwise they will provide you slab 3 you want only up to slab 2 what will the uh, 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 result means uh, later your parents will not pay the fee because they are capable up to slab 2 only you have got slab 3 so uh, ultimately you will waste your rank so try to do the counseling so that you will get according to your uh, desired option according to your economy means up to which you can select up to which you can take the admission only try to fill accordingly so that I will guide you once you register if you want you can take my guidance there is a nominal charge on the screen you are getting the number but only if you pay my guidance fee so that I will do the choice filling in this manner that up to that slab only you will get so there will be three things best slab best branch and best campus so hope you get my point after everything 10 choice 5 choice whatever you want you can save and then you, uh, here you need to click the save button then it will be saved later also you can change but more importantly after the second of June that is the after trial allotment you will able to change the choices if you want you can change the choices where it will be reflected in first real round that is on 5th of june so hope you get my point so one more thing once you uh, submit that is selected all the option and then if you want to change it you can edit there is the option but after submitting that is i confirm that i have reviewed and verified my preferences i understand that i will not be able to change the preferences after submitting so if you are sure about everything you can click here if you haven't clicked here you can change the choice as many as uh, as many time you want and also if you clicked here you can 
चेंज द चॉइसेज आफ्टर ट्रायल अलॉटमेंट सो वंस यू रेस्ट विद माई गाइडेंस I will guide you how to change if you have done any mistake there. And so this is the last step. After this, you need to make the payment of five thousand, and that's it. Uh, so once you need to submit here, that is uh, for this uh, student. I am submitting. Yes, your submit. It is done. Now the payment. Proceed for. to payment here is the payment option they are asking here it is 5000 you have to pay using anything so i will pay for this student and then that's it so once you make the payment you will get a receipt like this and then you need to click go back that's it this is how you need to do and uh, seat allotment process everything has been completed and uh, so this is how you need to do the uh, step by step process regarding the tsap registration and uh, choice filling fee payment everything i have discussed hope you find this information very useful for you kindly subscribe this channel so that you will get all the update later as well thank you